Hey, well go on. Yeah, man, it's Mr. Garfield here again. And today we'll be looking at a topic in CSEC additional mathematics, right? Which is the polynomial long division. Okay. So here we have a question which says that we are to divide 2x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 by 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 showing the entire process of long division and it also says that based on our answer what can we conclude about the relation between the two polynomials all right so let us look at the long division process okay so let me use my pen here So this is our solution. Okay, now before we continue, I would just like to indicate some words to you, right, that you should be familiar with. So this polynomial here, this fourth degree polynomial is what we call the dividend. All right, so that's our dividend. And this polynomial, this quadratic, this is what we call our divisor, okay? And when we do our, our long division, the polynomial that will be on the top here is what we will call our quotient, all right? So you should be familiar with all of those terms. All right, so let us begin. So the first step into doing our long division is to divide the first term in our divisor, in our dividend, sorry, which is 2x to the power 4. So we're dividing the first term of our dividend by the first term in our divisor, which is 2x squared, OK? Now, of course, clearly we can see that the twos will cancel out. And if you remember your laws of indices, once you're dividing and you have the same base, the, the base here is x in this case, right? So it means that we subtract the powers or we subtract the exponents. So it's x to the power of four minus two, all right? Which would give us x squared, okay? So the first term in our quotient, is going to be x squared. Now we're going to take that x squared and multiply it by each term in our divisor. All right, so that's going to be x squared multiplied by our divisor, which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. All right, so let me just scroll on a bit here to get some space. Great. So if we multiply, it's going to be x squared multiplied by 2x squared, x squared multiplied by negative 3x, and x squared multiplied by 1. So when we do our multiplication here, we will get x squared multiplied by 2x squared will give us a 2x to the power of 4. x squared multiplied by negative 3x will give us a negative 3x to the power 3. And x squared multiplied by one, of course, is just x squared, all right? So that is now gonna be here, all right? So it's two x to the fourth minus three x cubed plus x squared, all right? And once we get that, then we're now going to subtract, okay? So, we're now going to subtract. Great. So when we subtract 2x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth will give us zero here. Negative 3x cubed plus 3x cubed, right? The two negatives here will give us a positive. So negative 3x cubed plus 3x cubed will give us zero. And negative x squared minus x squared will give us a negative 
2x squared. All right, I hope you can see that. And then I'm now going to carry down the rest of my terms here. All right, so I have my plus 3x and I also have my minus one. Good. So we need to continue the process of long division, right, until, until our remainder, right, until our remainder, the, the, the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of our divisor. All right. When I say the degree, I simply mean the highest power of the polynomial. So for example, the degree of our divisor, which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, that the degree of that polynomial is equal to 2 because the highest power of x in this polynomial is 2. All right. And another example, the degree of our dividend, which is 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 4. Why? Because the highest power of x in this polynomial is 4. Okay? Good. So we need to continue the process of long division until our remainder the degree of our remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. Okay, so let us now continue the process of long division. So I now need to divide negative 2x squared by the first term in my, in my divisor here, which is 2x squared. Okay, so let's do it right here. So that is negative 2x squared, all right? That's negative 2x squared divided by 2x squared, okay? Now clearly we can see that the twos will cancel out, all right? And of course the x squared will also cancel out, okay? So what I am left with here is just the negative one here, all right? Good. So that negative one is going to go up here, it's going to be a part of my quotient, all right? So it's x squared minus one. So I'm now going to multiply that negative one by the divisor, okay? So each term in the divisor is going to be multiplied by negative one. Let's do that here. That's negative one multiplied by two x squared minus three x plus one. So if, if we multiply, it's gonna be negative one multiplied by two x squared, which is gonna give me a negative two x squared. Okay, then I have negative one multiplied by negative three x, which will give me a positive three x and negative one multiplied by one, right? Negative one multiplied by a positive one is just going to give me a negative one, all right? So that expression is gonna come here, all right? So that result is gonna be here. So that's negative two x squared plus three x minus one, all right? Good. So what do we do here now? we know subtract, okay? So we know subtract. Okay, let's subtract now. So it's going to be negative two x squared minus negative two x squared, right? The two negatives here will give you a positive. So what we really have is negative two x squared plus two x squared, which will give us zero. And then we have 3x minus 3x, which will give us zero. And negative one minus negative one is what? And that is the same as negative one plus one, right? Because the two negatives here will give you a positive. So negative one plus one is also zero. Okay, 
So we cannot continue any further because the degree of the remainder here is less than the degree of the divisor. Okay, and this is where we stop. So this constant here, zero, is actually our remainder. All right. So using our division algorithm, right? So you should know the, the division algorithm. Let me just write it down here for you. Division algorithm. All right. So the, the division algorithm states that the dividend is going to be the same as the divisor multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder. All right, plus the remainder. So what is our dividend? Our dividend is the, the fourth degree polynomial here, two x to the fourth minus two x cubed minus x squared plus two x minus one. Let's write that down here. So our dividend is two x to the power of four minus three x cubed minus x squared plus three x minus one. And that is the same as our divisor what is our divisor? Our divisor is the second degree polynomial here, two x squared minus two x plus one. All right, so let's write that down. So it is going to be two x squared minus three x plus one multiplied by our quotient. Our quotient is x squared minus one on top here. All right, so we're multiplying by x squared minus one. And our remainder, what is our remainder? Our remainder here is zero, right? So you don't really have to write it, just zero. Our remainder is zero, great. So I just wanted to point out the, the, the division algorithm to you. All right, great. So now that we have done the long division, let's answer the rest of the question. It said, based on our answer, what can we conclude about the relation between the two polynomials? What is the relationship? Well, you should know that if the remainder is zero after you complete the process of division, what does that mean? Right, what does that mean? It simply means that the divisor is a factor of the fourth degree polynomial, right? Or we can we could also say that 2x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 is divisible by 2x squared minus 3x plus one, all right? So that is the relationship. Just like when you would divide two numbers, all right? when you would divide, um, for example, you would divide 25 by five, right? Of course, the remainder there is going to give you zero, right? Why is that so? Because five is a factor of 25, right? So similarly, in this case, we can say that, 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a factor of 2x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. All right, so let's write that down. So we can conclude that 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 is a factor of 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 3x 
minus one. All right, and that is the solution to this question. Okay, so you should have learned two things. You should have learned, well, you should have actually learned three things, right? You will learn the process of long division. You have learned the division algorithm, and you have also learned about a little bit about the factor theorem, right? So that is our answer for this question i hope that it was helpful and if it was please ensure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends all right i am mr garth reed student ambassador for the university of technology jamaica and a mathematics teacher in training in the school of mathematics and statistics i thank you for joining